Also at 5.30, a Dayton grocery store manager asks us for help when he cashes some tax checks that don't clear. Jordan Burgess got to the bottom of the problem and left that manager holding the bag. Jordan? Well, he thought he was doing some employees and good customers a favor by cashing those checks, so we decided to help him figure out why a tax service wouldn't pay them, and we may have come up with an answer. Estridge Market has been here for more than 50 years. You don't survive that long without loyal customers and employees. So when the market gets burned by returning that loyalty, it can be upsetting. Well, it's frustrating when you cash checks and you know the people real well, and then they just stop payment on them for really no reason. Estridge Market doesn't normally cash checks, but made an exception with some employees and a loyal customer when it came to their tax refunds from instant tax service. But the checks bounced. As I called the bank to try to see what was wrong, and they said there's no money available to cash them. The roughly $1,000 in question are a big hit for a small store. Yeah, I'll start trying to figure out how to go about getting the money. If I so we called Instant Tax Service to get some answers. The service's legal team told me it had some issues with fraud lately when it comes to refund checks. The unpaid checks may have been mistakenly red flagged by the system. Whatever the reason, Estridge just hopes to get the cash it paid out. And the money should have been there to take care of those checks. Now we put Estridge's in touch with Instant Tax Service and hopefully they'll be able to resolve things. And of course, we'll stay on this and let you know when we hear back. But for now, reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.